When you need something and you don't have anyone to assist you, how you can summon your guardian angels to come and help you? Hello, beautiful people, you're welcome. I share tips and message, yes, spiritual tips that will help you to grow spiritually. We pray here using natural things, yes, natural things to get solution to life. If this is the first time you have seen my video, you are highly welcome. Please hit the right subscribe button. To my returning viewers, thank you so much for always stopping by. I love you. If you don't have anybody to help you and you don't have anybody to assist you, you don't need to worry. All you need to do is to summon the guardian angels that have been assigned to you to watch over you. When you were born into this world, you have a guardian angels that have been assigned to you to watch over you. And they are always there, ready for you to call on them to come and assist you. So all you have to do is to summon them, for them to come and help you. You need the following item to carry out this prayer, to summon your guardian angels to come and help you. Two white candles, one red candle, one black candle, one good luck incense. These are the items that you need to carry out your prayer. When you bring all your items, yes, you look for a very quiet place that you can do this prayer that no one will disturb you. I advise that you do this prayer at night. Do this prayer around midnight by 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. Yes, when you wake up, gather all your items that you want to pray with. Gather it at a spot where you want to do your prayer. Then free your heart from all negativities and bring in positivities into your life. When you've done that, light your black candle first. The reason why you light your black, black candle is that you use your black candle to summon the guardian angels that are in charge to absorb all negative influence in your life. So when you light your black candle, you summon the angel that are in charge of absorbing negative influence, all those bad things, bad luck that you're having in your life. You summon the angel that is in charge to come and take absolute control and remove all negativities, all evil auras that is happening in your life to remove it. When you've done that, then you light your red candle. Your red candle represents fire angels that goes with fire then you light your white candle your white candle is used for a general purpose when you don't know the angels that you want to summon because you don't know the cause of the problem that you're passing through that is why you're going to add white it has to do with a general purpose when you don't know the actual angel that you summon in your life that will do the work and do it perfect that's why you have to add that two white candle when you bring those candles you have to light it in a circular form then light your incense when you have light your incense you start by calling on god almighty whatsoever you are doing in life you have to call on god first because he is the author and finishers of our faith and without him we can do nothing so you call on god almighty to come and take absolute control when you have called on god almighty then call on the elements that are in charge of the world when you have called on the elements that are in charge of the world summon your guardian angels yes when you have summoned your guardian angels then call on your ancestors when you have called on your ancestors call on the whole angels yes when you have called on the whole angel then the next thing you have to do is to call on this spirit the good spirit that is available at the moment that you are doing this prayer you have to call them summon all of them to come and help you yes to come and help you to achieve your heart's desire when you have summoned all of them the next thing you have to do is to make your wish Pray and start making your wish. Anything you want them to do for you, start telling them because they are there listening to you. When you finish making your wish, show a gratitude. Thank your guardian angels for answering your prayer. Yes, when you have done that, conclude your prayer and off the candle and see how your ways will open for good. 
Then make out time to visit the modelized baby's home. When you visit the modelized baby's home, when you are going, buy some items and go there and give it to those children and ask them to pray for you for open doors, upliftment, changes in your life, whatsoever problem you are passing in life. Just tell them to help you ask God so that God will grant it for you. In this part of the country where I am, we call it Saraka. In this case, you don't need to go to motherless baby's home. All you need to do is to gather children and give them those items that you bought and tell them to pray for you, what you want God to do for you. And they will do that. After this, within the space of one week, two weeks to one month that you finish summoning your guardian angels, you will see a lot of things will start changing in your life for good. Good things will start happening in your life.